What's up, guys? So there was a press conference yesterday. I missed it on the Quentin uh, Simon case, which has been really weird. Like, there's a lot of crazy things in this case already. But uh, there was a small press conference yesterday, so we're going to listen to that. Uh, thank Burden of Proof for this, guys. She's amazing. Go follow her. Uh, so she posted this. So let's listen. I'm here. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. You guys ready? As we continue our search for Quentin Simon, I want to update you on our aggressive efforts to find him. I want to assure everyone that we are continuing to use every investigative resource available for us to locate little Quentin. We have conducted multiple interviews, executed multiple search warrants, and we've canvassed numerous specific geographic areas. The day Quentin was reported missing, we requested the assistance of the FBI they responded immediately and have been on the scene with our officers since that time. Today, there are more than 40 FBI agents and personnel on the ground in Chatham County working with our department to find Quentin. This includes all agents assigned to the Savannah and Brunswick resident agencies and professional staff, agents from other FBI offices, including members of the Child Abduction and Rapid Deployment Unit, and other subject matter experts. Working, they have been continuously working with Chatham County Police Department for the last five days. We believe with the continued assistance of the FBI, we will have a resolution to this case. We understand that people far beyond Chatham County have become emotionally invested in this incident and the search for Quentin, and they want answers. We are committed to finding those answers, and we are committed to finding Quentin. With that said, I'll be happy to answer a few questions. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. Going on for about five days now, and I think everybody is kind of moving towards worst case scenario. At what point, um, you know, do you say that there's some criminal aspect to what's going on? Yes, and that's a very good, and that's a. You know, we're looking at it from multiple fronts, and, and one of it being a criminal uh, investigation as well as, you know, uh, a missing child at this point. We don't have anything confirmed, so we can't say anything uh, absolutely. Um, but it is fair to say that, you know, our efforts and, and the cooperation with the FBI and them providing an abundance of resources to us, um, that we are looking at the criminal investigation aspect of, aspect of it as well. Chief, how are you looking at the criminal investigation? What's the thing into? Everybody is being looked at. Everybody is being interviewed. Everybody that had contact with Quentin in the most recent time of his disappearance uh, is being looked at, is being interviewed. Um, and we are, that's an enormous amount of work, obviously, that that takes. Um, and we are continuing to, the, to do everything that we can do to, to, to gather evidence if, if it's there. Um, we have to. We have to follow, obviously, an investigative process. We have to follow the law. We have to get search warrants. You know, um, I know there's a lot of interest out there, and, and, and probably some chatter of why haven't you done this and why haven't you done that. Well, we have a constitution to follow. Uh, we have the law to follow um, because we want to make sure we get it right. We want to make sure we do this as professionally and as expertly as we can. So if, and I and I say if, we have to prosecute anyone in this case that we've done it right uh, that we don't lose evidence in, a, in an evidentiary hearing or anything like that so um, so we continue to work diligently uh, but we're going to work um, within the framework that we have to work in what about the 
what are the updates in this area? Do you think the church that you where is it where is it gone from? Where is being where is church now? Well we went back today and researched researched um, the home in which he um, was last at. You know, trying to redouble our efforts uh, and to kind of scrub, no pun intended, with uh, uh, scrub the area and make sure that we didn't miss anything. Uh, what? They're there to help us. Um, it's a Chatham County uh, Police Department investigation. They are here in a in a support role, and I can't thank them enough. Uh, you don't bring 40 people. Um, and some from all over the country um, without a, an enormous amount of effort and expense. Um, you know, those, those agents left their homes and left their families to come here and help Chatham County um, look for Little Clinton. And I can't be any more appreciative of, of that. Mm -hmm. We have to protect the integrity of the investigation, and that's first and foremost. I certainly understand people's interest in this case, your interest in this case, and I can appreciate that. But my responsibility and our responsibility is to do a professional investigation that we don't do anything that impedes that, that we don't do anything that tarnishes the, the integrity of the investigation, and that's my sole responsibility for that. Have any of the family members, are they still being cooperative, especially this mother, and have any of them? I can't answer that uh, question. Uh, she, she's where Lay Bonnie and Dan right now. We, I mean, they are the parents and the, and the boyfriend of this young boy, but we haven't seen them pleading to the public for help. Mm -hmm. Where are they right now? I don't know where they are currently at this time. I do believe they've been staying at the residence, but I don't physically right now, as, you, as I'm talking to you, I don't know where they're at. Do you know why it is that we have not seen them? They're not talking to us. They're not pleading to get their child back. I don't have an answer for that. Sir, from the start of that, we've had activity uh, in the area this morning. We saw Chatham County Fire, FBI, and have now come to some of the public on Martin Police vehicles. Is there a reason for increased activity today after kind of a drop off, at least at the house over the weekend? Uh, as I just stated earlier, we were searching that residence again this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Has she been disappointed in the investigation? Uh, I, I know you can't speak specifically, but in cases like this, so you exhaust. Mm -hmm. And now you're back into researching some of those you've been targeted areas mm -hmm. this weekend. What happens next if no one's giving you tips, if there's no piece of evidence that changes this case? How long do you exhaust this and then and what do your investigators do after today? Well, after today, I mean, I, I anticipate us, us working at least throughout the week. Um, so um, at some point, if, if I'm following your train of logic, that you know, we may have to sit down and, and reevaluate where we're at. If we've exhausted everything that we think that we can do, if we if we ask ourselves that question and we think there's nothing else for us to do at this moment, then we got to sit down and reevaluate. But we're a long ways away from that. This is the start of the consequence investigation. Now going on to Monday. Um, do you feel like you all have gotten further along in the process? I do. Do you have what makes you believe that? I can't get any specifics of the case. How are you guys doing? I mean, this is going to be exhausting. I mean, you can tell this is going to be I mean, how are you investigating this? This is going to be exhausting. Thank you. Thanks for that question. I appreciate that. Um, they're they're tired, um, but they're determined. And I couldn't be any prouder of them. Um, they have worked 18 hour days since last Wednesday morning. Um, along with the FBI and, and everybody else. I mean, everybody is, they are all hands on deck. They are committed. Um, they are working hard to try to bring a resolution to this case and, and find a little point. So, but thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Bring more off of that. That sounds like you're stating that you're saying that you guys will find out. I believe we will. I do. Um, you, you set up a tip, or your department set up a tip number over the weekend. Have y'all received any tips from it so far? Um, I believe we've received some, but we have, you know, we have to verify those, you know, whether or not they, uh, they're accurate, whether or not we can, you know, follow up on any of that information. I don't have anything of substance, so.
We got one more question from you. Yeah, before we sign off, I'm out. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate you being here. Thank you for asking about our detectives. And, um, I promise when we get uh, something to report, we'll report it back out to you. Thank you so much. Let me ask you just one more question. Has there been any contact with Quinn's biological father? Uh, we have had contact with him. Yes. Is he at all, you know, is he a suspect in this case? Has he been cleared? He's not a suspect in this case. Got it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there you go. The, the actual father is not a suspect in this case, but they have found something at the house. Uh, there was a post put out earlier from the police department that said they found some evidence, they don't tell you what it is, that'll help them go further into this case. But there you go. That was the press conference, guys. Sorry I missed it yesterday.